G'day, I'm Ash, and it's been around two weeks since the end of the War Thunder YouTube Cup, and for those who didn't know about it, I took part in the event, and with the team, I quote, the Meme Police, a team which was constituted of members of the creator program who were partnered with Gaussian, this being made out of people who either streamed or created content on YouTube, uh, my teammates, Mr. Steve Gamer, Fucker Boombass, The Real Napoleon, The Donny3TV, and the team captain, well, we did a little of training as such, but uh, we had a few varied team practices regarding the cup itself, but ultimately we had no true idea of what we were getting into, and this is quite blatantly uh, apparent, as the team that we are versing is G Squad. We'll be primarily going over my point of view regarding the whole entire, uh, the two matches that were played on the second day of the cup. Um, and, well, there was an expectation that the team that we'd be facing would be better than us, and that we planned, well, for what little we could. Uh, by playing matches in squads and developing some basic teamwork skills, as a result of none of basically any of the teams but one had actually managed to band together and, and play together. None of us had really played together at all. And as you see, got absolutely obliterated by the Orange Doom. Uh, he just came out of nowhere. I wasn't really paying attention, and I should have been on my A game. And this is sort of the moment where I realised that uh, the whole entire match was going to be focused primarily around Cass. Now, it's this mix of arcade and and realistic. It's not really this... It's not really the realistic setting uh, that, that the tournaments run. And being a non-tournament player, this was evidently clear. And, I mean, I've never played a tournament before, and this is my first time, con uh, you know, participating in such. I wasn't sure what to really expect. Our team is doing pretty damn poorly. As I'm pushing up on a flank, I'm going to go through the factory here. We're going to make our way towards Slickby, who's sitting in a, uh, a nice, hilly, advantageous spot where he can sort of shoot through uh, the factory itself. I'm playing rather cautiously. I do know that something's going to be up. But also note, on the map, there are markers visible for who and, and what. Currently, the teamwork is not really there at all. And the primary focus of G-Squad is focused around close escort. Three of our tanks are already down. That was a failed bomb drop. I put one shot towards the KV-1, thinking, okay, well, he bounced directly off me. Uh, the T-34 is a durable tank, but this is where I absolutely, utterly screw up here push forward, he's damaged my breach, he can still shoot through the uh, the rubble there, I should have reversed fully into the, the death light there below me, I, I do such, he bounces, I go, okay, well I can put a shot into him, I make the mistake of still sitting there, pushing forward, I angled too much, and he managed to get the lucky shot off on me, that's me out, our team's already down a considerable amount of points, it's a lot of information to take a hold of at the current time. And then I'm realising, hang on, I, could I spawn on an aircraft? Maybe I should spawn on an aircraft. Alright, we will go out in the Yak-9 and see if we can challenge their air supremacy. Because that was a key part of their matches. Three of their teammates, the Orange Doom, uh, the Oxygen Thief and Kath, were basically primarily uh, in three focused roles. The Orange Doom was the anti-aircraft uh, player who you know, obviously knew about uh, countering aircraft. Uh, Slick B was primarily focused on tanks, as their other um, squad mate as well, I forget his name, uh, was down there as well. And you can see I'm having to tango with these guys down here. And a real Napoleon, I believe, took out a P-47 before. Got absolutely demolished. But I'm going to try and bait Orange out this direction. We have limited time. I kind of need to destroy these guys before they can really get anywhere. And uh, pull up there, quickly. <laughs> I predominantly play air, but I've never done anything really competitive. Kath is chasing me. Kath obviously uh, pulls away. The orange is still hot in my heels. He's actually trying to catch me. 109F has got a really powerful engine. I don't think the Yak really has the characteristics there at play. Anyway, it was still pulling out here. And there's a lot of information going on. Uh, there's groundwork. Obviously, Oxygen Thief is the close air support uh, contingent there. PV-2D is a really uh, versatile aircraft. We pull in, we miss all of his shots, and we're going to try and take out um, Yak-9 in Kath. Unfortunately, Orange has got the better of me, and he's actually catching me. I lost a lot of energy in that in that turn, and I really, really don't want to screw it up. But that's going to ha that's going to be how it is. He manages to get his shots onto my tail. I'm trying to pull it back around, but he's got all the energy, and he can afford to put a lot of shots in this direction. 
Anyway, we're just going to toy with him just a little bit. Hopefully we waste his energy and his time. And hopefully I don't crash here. I'm going to pull it around again. See if we can get the inside scoop on Mr. Old Orange here. Don't quite have the energy to pull it up. And that's when I realise I'm up Sheep Creek without a paddle. And meanwhile, our team is doing uh, relatively okay. We've managed to kill two of their tanks. Uh, however, it's not going to be too much. Uh, Oxygen Thief is coming back in hot in the heels. And so is Kath, and I'm kind of concerned about where Orange is. There he is, right behind me there. Pulling down and around. There is their other teammate there, Oddballs, in the T-14. Call to the team, T-14, heavy, heavy tank heading towards C. No one really listens. Okay, open up the throttle. I need to kill Oxygen Thief. That is the primary goal here. He's been the one that's been taking out the majority of our team. And it's quite clear at this point that if we don't counter them, it's going to be a bit of a problem coming in we're going to try and put a few shots and you never go head on with a pv2d there is two enemy machine guns on that thing good job to him and we're trying to go out in another vehicle now is this really a team problem or was this more a tournament of close air support obviously there there is a contingent here that should say all right well it's a tournament you should be focusing on the element that is most important i think that g squad was really aware of how the systems work uh but even saying that like the other teams that were you, know, you played in the previous day on day one they were teams that had little to no contact with each other because all the teams were, were filled with content creators that probably hadn't worked together in a very very long time let alone like ever work together or play together in a team capacity and i think g squad understood that and roughly knew what to expect and how regardless we're going to get absolutely obliterated if we don't do something relatively quickly oxygen thief is pulling around there in his pv2d he's still ongoing he's still got a bomb load gets taken out but unfortunately uh, that's not quite enough you know you're looking at uh well, the whirlwind knocked him out, but still. I'm in a relatively slow, heavy tank. He's going to try and do a bomb drop here. Whirlwind's opening up. I'm thinking he's going to hit me, but the uh, the building shields me correctly. And now it's a matter of deciding what to do. This is a very crucial moment, because time is really running out, and that's something that I didn't expect. I expected these matches to go on for a little longer than what they actually did. As you can see, when I opened the scoreboard there, I, I realised, oh, hang on, we need to somewhat coordinate our efforts i was thinking all right if i head to a i can defend a i can i can i can fend off some of the attackers that never ended up by happening because the game ends uh, in, in about 30 seconds so it was really a miscommunication about what the event was going to be and in comes uh, old harpoon here i'm not going to miss that one for sure so obviously i messed up by going head on with the, uh, the harpoon obviously i messed up when going out in a vehicle first ultimately i should have taken out an aircraft uh, right away and try to take out their close air support uh, uh, ability because ultimately those who control the air also control the skies uh, but they also have a chance at controlling what happens on the ground as well so knowing that we plan for the second match to be a little bit more uh, vigorous and here we are on the second round uh, and you know this match was really close immediately I've chosen the German, German lineup we voted for World War II uh, some of the other teams voted for uh, different other things. But we're taking out the F4. We're going to go straight in and try uh, bombing something on the way in. We've got a bomb. Uh, a friendly is in the P47, Napoleon. Bacon's gone down in a heavy tank for some unknown reason. And there was really no coordination. This time we knew what we roughly expected. They were going to come up in aircraft. There's uh, the Orange Doom and his, his alternate account just rolling around here i need to sort of find a target to bomb unfortunately i'm gonna miss this bomb but we're coming in anyway yak nine uh is is, is kath and i'm expecting uh the same aircraft uh, no f6f this time by oxygen thief as they probably predicted that we're gonna go do an anti-air sort of uh campaign anyway sook b's in his uh heavy tank down there the kv2 or is it kv1 i can't really read that and unfortunately, I go, ooh, tank, and then I pull to the left. The bomb completely, utterly misses. And on stream, yeah, everybody's going, oh, bad, bad move. Again, I'm not a professional player at all. I'm more a casual player. Get a nice hit into um, 
oxygen thief there. However, we did take out our oil. So this is all happening relatively quickly. I'm trying to spin the aircraft as quickly as I can around because Napoleon is going to need absolutely, well, every help he can possibly get. Put in a few shots towards Kath there. I'm not going to follow that one up. We need to get on our friendly six. Orange Doom is going particularly low. He's going to try and uh, bait us in. All right, Oxygen Thief. Let's go after him then, considering he's going vertical right now. There was an opportunity right here. He's going vertical. I don't think he realizes that I'm on his six. He may have been told by his friendlies, but ultimately, you never can be too sure. I get a, a hit on him, and I'm pulling back around, trying to, trying to push the aircraft, roll right over, try and get towards Oxy. Get absolutely obliterated in my tail section there, as I didn't counter for the fact that the Orange Doom was right on my heels, and ultimately get done in uh, by his 109. Good play there. Completely forgot about my situational awareness. I was going to take up the 110, but I thought that would be an absolute suicide. So, in the meme machine, uh, we go. Obviously not the first meme machine, but uh, the Werber Wind it is. I'm going to try and take out G-Squad's ability to close air support, because that was an absolute pain. And I'm not an SBA player uh, by any means, so this is actually quite painful to watch. I had a, a clear shot in Oxy there, absolutely obliterate him, but he still takes out a member of my team, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, hey, Cat's gone back, uh, and now we've just got to try and secure the cap zones. This is the most crucial part of the match. We could have won this one quite easily. And again, I think it was a, an expectation that there was something there that wasn't. I believe that a lot of other teams had similar things where they came together literally an hour or two beforehand the tournament started and then started playing. There was a, there was a heavy expectation by the casters, uh, Sean and uh, Collusion, that we roughly knew what we were doing and that just simply wasn't the case. We are average players like most of you and to be fighting a full-on professional team, congratulations to them. These are the guys that actually went on and uh, won the whole entire uh, YouTube Cup. Just unfortunate that uh, there wasn't more teams. Uh, there was about six or seven, and that's not really enough. Initially, I thought that it was going to be teams of content creators who could choose their own members, and then you say it's content creator versus content creator, um, with content creators being team captain and, and so on and so forth. That's what I initially thought. And I mean, there's an arcade marker there, but I still have no idea what I'm doing. It's a whirlwind. I should be able to instantly delete him out of the sky. But that's just not the case. And the poor old Kath and, uh, and Napoleon there going head to head there. The Harpoon's obviously doing a little bit of dogfighting there. Kath is on heavily on Napoleon the Six. I'm just waiting for the Orange Doom to show up because he somewhat has disappeared. I'm like, okay, is he going to appear directly in front of me somewhere? Because I need to sort of start helping out my team. Also, that aircraft is not going to be too important just yet. More concerned about where I'm going and what's going on. All right, let's head this direction just a little bit. And this is my first real mistake. Should have held back just a little longer. Should have focused towards the aircraft instead of on the tanks. Should have been looking to my left, not just only towards my right. Um, and, you know, putting a couple of shots. Oh, unfortunately, I have to reload, but I would have had clear shot on that guy. Try and get hit. The tower knocks out the rest of the ammunition there. And then I get absolutely done by uh, Orange in his Panzer IV F2. Who knew exactly where I was because I was firing directly in the open. Alright, I can't take out the 110 because Fucker Boombas has just gone back up in his 110. So instead we're going to take out the absolute meme machine, as I said earlier. This is the SK SDKFZ uh, 2-3 slash, I think it's 1 or whatever. Everyone just calls it, uh, you know, the Pack Puma. As you can see, it's got a pink bush. It's a very nice vehicle. It's very mobile. And the idea is to get towards the other side of A and sort of be a little bit sneaky. We're going to go come up on the left-hand side. We're going to try and get in a couple of shots. So it's probably the most cheered on part of the whole entire match. Currently, nobody holds the cap circles and it's very much dependent on what happens here. Orange Doom hasn't spotted me yet. I'm going to try and aim directly in. He puts one shot into me. I managed to get a shot into him, knocking out his gunner and basically all of his crew. Anyway, we've, we don't have a driver just yet. Uh, Orange has continued to push up. Anyway, we've got a driver. We're going to back right off. We're just going to pull away. He's trying to get a shot off at us. Obviously, he doesn't get a hit. We're going to 
use the mobility of this particular vehicle and we're going to do a bit of a, a blitzkrieg if you so can call it that so expecting him to sort of come around that corner ultimately that doesn't happen and he expects me to go that direction he can see me on the mini map but i'm going to head directly around obviously he isn't paying attention to his map the rest of the team is tied up trying to secure b uh, but ultimately that's not going so well and uh, they get control of the center of the map we're going to use the mobility of the puma however to do a little bit of a flanking maneuver um but uh, that's beside the point i'm going to talk a little bit about the tournament itself and the prize pool obviously that is a hot heated discussion at the moment and i do believe that there should not have been a prize pool at all we should have been able to get a decal there should have been uh, maybe instead of a hundred thousand golden eagle prize pool for the winners and a fifty thousand for second and and a third you know a third place maybe Garshan should have chosen a charity and we, we should have done this for the benefit of some other organization non-profit organization or something we should have brought our influence together uh, to really promote the event but unfortunately uh, there was a little bit of boycotting going on uh, certain certain members of the community didn't really want this to really happen because of mismanagement reasons and, and unclear instructions look there was miscommunications on all sides but i just really felt like it didn't really live up to its real expectations you know i hadn't really been training as hard as admittedly i i would have liked but even having said so it still felt really bizarre that you would give content creator that already gets you know free stuff on on a regular basis to, prov to provide content for you know war thunder's game that's the idea of a partnership you know we the Gajan provides us with stuff so we can do videos on on topics within the game i feel like the hundred thousand prize pool necessarily didn't help things at a a any point at all most of the content creators who have a following have a following just because they play the game casually and they relate to the most average you know player who plays the game i certainly you know try and portray that in my videos i don't i don't necessarily come off as a egotistical professional uh player because that's not who i am i tend to be very laid back very chill i'm there for the fun i'm you know engagement is is really you know my number one priority so having fun is definitely a key part of things even if i die or even if things go horribly wrong anyway we've spotted the orange doom we'll just use the mobility to pull back from his smoke uh, screen i'm half expecting him to push around that corner and give me a shot just gonna, I'm just gonna use the gap here to try and see where he is he did artillery this area as he knew exactly where we were it's okay he's probably got the hit marker now there's there is aircraft roaring overhead and we're just going to push directly forward it's going to hold it right here hang on is he going to come around and flank to the left there if he does we need to sort of have a little more uh you know access anyway we're just gonna sneak away hopefully he doesn't realize that we're coming around on his flank and i'm doing this on purpose just to confuse him however time is of the essence at this point uh the team has lost the advantage it was neck and neck up until a, 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 you know a little while ago had i have pushed orange i probably would have had a st or stood a better chance i'm just going to use the coal piles here he doesn't suspect a thing come on elevate the gun stabilize the gun well, blam vehicle destroyed and at this current point the whole entire team let out an absolute roar like yay <laughs> the orange doom's dead <laughs> I think that was one of the most successful and probably the better moments of the stream everyone was cheering on uh particularly in the war thunder uh chat i watched the uh, vod back and uh, some of the comments were absolutely hilarious but we're going to go in and continue to cap uh, a here hopefully we don't get taken out by artillery this thing is an open top tank destroyer um but yeah that was definitely a highlight for me i think that was i don't know i did try my best it wasn't like i wasn't actively trying i could have done better but again first tournament first real set of expectations i think there shouldn't have been any prizes i think that there should have just been instead i'm fine with the decals there should i'm fine with the exclusive uh, skins on particular vehicles but i think that having the e100 and the i7 and the thousand a hundred thousand golden eagles sorry uh, was not really something that was needed for for a tournament that was mainly with a bunch of casual players that being said there was some teams that did get disqualified and that is rather unfortunate anyway my teammate he is here backing me up at a now there is an oswind and this is where i make my critical mistake you never sit in front of an oswind 
Um, I'm getting close air supported here, and I'm pulling the gun up, and I was going to shoot uh, Orange. Fortunately, I don't get the hit on him, and he knocks me out with an Oswind. A very, very powerful SBAA. It's going to go in and claim A. I can't spawn in. I don't think I can. I think that's it. Our tickets are empty, and that's basically our match in uh, the YouTuber Tournament Cup. So there we go. Finally, I'd like to end on some thoughts. Obviously, I'd love there to be a charity-only content creator cap. It'd be something that would be involving uh, all the content creators promoting this and raising money together in their teams collectively to try and support a, a non-profit organization of their choice. And then, obviously, the winning team, all the money that was raised by all the other teams would go towards that particular non-profit organization or charity. And I think that would be do you know somewhat of a benefit within the community. Community. Obviously the decals were nice and obviously the skins and the vehicles, but I really think there also should have been a randomized team list and that way we would be forced to work with people we wouldn't necessarily do anyway. That way it prevent former uh, team stacking. Also, if there was a prize pool of 100k, why not give it out as codes uh, towards the community? That would have been something that would have been interesting as well. That way members of the community could benefit off that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching guys. That was my take on the YouTuber Cup. I'm Ash. Bye-bye.